silence is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips I'm the balance in favor. I'm when I like somebody. <laughs> the rest of y'all get this gangster shit, bitch. Something. I Do you know that Kamala is a token? Do you know that nobody wanted to endorse her? Not even Obama wanted to endorse her because she's incompetent? Nobody wanted her in the position, but they did it because she was black. That's an insult. That means you're not intelligent enough. That means you're not quick enough. That means you're not smart enough. That means you're not even equipped. You're just black. And it works. And I know that I have been laying low politically because, again, I am, I've been indicted. Understand something. I've been indicted by the Biden administration as a black woman for standing against the murder, murder of innocent children, including and especially, especially because they they take up the biggest uh, margin, black babies. Okay. So now Biden has stepped down. Right. And I have been laying low. I've been laying low. I've been like, listen, I'm not saying nothing. I'm going to just live my life. I'm just going, I'm in Vegas. I'm about to go to the buffet. I'm just trying to eat. I'm trying to be at Sphere and I'm trying to be at Fly Over Vegas enjoying my little life with my husband before sentencing. But I have to say something. Let me explain something to you. And I'm speaking to the black community. I have to. I'm speaking to the black community and I'm not, I, I'm going to keep it a buck. If you, in your heart, feel like, oh, they're going to put up Kamala, I'm going to vote for Kamala, you are telling me how ignorant you are when it comes to politics, not as a person, because just because you are ignorant according to politics doesn't mean you're an ignorant person, but you are very ignorant according to politics. And I'm going to tell you why. And a lot of people can get offended, but I don't care. I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. Kamala, number one, has never been for the black community. I want you to understand something. Kamala has played a part, just like Joe Biden, in persecuting and putting African-American people in jail by the droves. Droves. Okay, when it comes to drug crime, she has treated drug crime as if it was murder. Okay, and then on top of that, let me explain something to you. The only reason why Kamala is a vice president in the first place is because she's black. It is not because she is qualified. It is not because she is competent. It is because she's black. Now, why should you be offended? You would think, oh, well, yeah, we black people. We supposed to support our black folk. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, let me explain something to you. You should be offended beyond rapport because of the fact that somebody is willing to put someone in seat for their color, even when they're not qualified to do a favor for you. Let me explain to you how the last four years have went up three coming into this four. Let me explain something to you. So for the first three, three years, Kamala has not cared about the black community. Okay. Kamala and Biden have been doing everything in their power to support illegal immigrants. They have been coming in this country. They're getting your benefits. They putting their kids. They, the, the, these illegal immigrants are going into your kids' schools. They in the hood. They're taking over. You're no longer relevant. They're taking over. Okay. But then on top of that. Okay. They're giving them money. They're giving them credit cards. I mean, they're booking them, taking them. They're, you got immigrants coming straight out of Mexico living better than you did. And your ancestors done built this country up. Boom. Let me explain something to you. That's how valuable you are to the Democrat community. Okay? But now, boom. Year four. It's election time. Y'all, we ain't really did nothing for these niggas. I guess we got to do something. Uh, let's call up Kirk Franklin. And he comes to the White House. Kirk Franklin went on that stage with them tight shorts or tight suit and that extra low button top that he wears on stage. And he danced and he got a check. And that was for you. They paid him to please you. That's how important you are. When Hillary wants to campaign, she don't actually focus on issues in the black community that are needed. She says, oh, I got hot sauce in my bag, boo. Are you pandering to us? Is it working? Oh, y'all forget. Your memory is terrible. Y'all forget. She said, is it working? That's how valuable you are 
as a vote that she don't even got to invest to get your vote. She don't even have to work and put the agenda in and start to show proof to get your vote, black woman, black man. You so you may you you so special to be black. You so special to be black that you don't even you don't even get no benefits for it. We'll just put Kurt Franklin and let him dance for the day. That'll do. Oh, the Mexicans, we're gonna invest in them. We're gonna have them come from the border. We're gonna do everything in our power for them. But for you niggas over there, y'all good. Let me explain something to you. Y'all don't understand the amount of racism that you co-sign. You look crazy. These people see you as animals and dogs. They tell you it's raining and are pissing on your head. And you sit there and you let them. And it blows my mind. Okay? Blows my mind. Let me explain something to you. I have never in my life dealt with racism. People are like, oh, you know, technically it's systematic. Systematic racism means it's supposed to be racism there in the system, but you can't see it because it's so entwined, intertwined in the system. Let me explain something to you. I did not experience racism until the day Joe Biden used Letitia James, a black attorney general, along with Damian Williams, a black FBI head of FBI agency, and they indicted me for standing against the abortion murder of black Kids, do you know the agent that they used to investigate me was a black man? He has an African name. Do you know that they used their tokens to go after black people that got out of line? They used the guys in the house in line cleaning the bathroom to get the ones out on the field trying to wake people up to know that this is slavery and this is bondage. Do you know that? Do you know that Kamala is a token? Do you know that nobody wanted to endorse her? Not even Obama wanted to endorse her because she's incompetent. Nobody wanted her in the position, but they did it because she was black. That's an insult. That means you're not intelligent enough. That means you're not quick enough. That means you're not smart enough. That means you're not even equipped. You're just black. And it works. And no, it's not benefiting the entire black community. No. Let's just put a token in because that's enough for them. They'll struggle to the end as long as they can look up at that token for the rest of their life. How? How? I, listen, I, I promise you I wasn't going to say nothing. That's door dash right there. I wasn't going to say nothing. But you might have to go to the front. I think your food is there. Mm -hmm. In a second. They dropping it off at the lobby. Let me say something to you. I am so tired of the black community and y'all low standards. The standards are so low. You are so low in your standards, that even in your vote, that we are looked at as a joke. Do you understand other communities are coming in and laughing at us? You have Russians and Ukrainians and people from all these different countries coming in. They're getting trade jobs. They're starting businesses. They're buying houses on the block. They've been here for 10 years and we're scrambling to the top. And yet we don't. We don't stand for it when it really matters. We just want to see somebody that look like us in and we good. Oh, she looked like us. That's, that works. That's your standard? That works? Oh, she looked like me. She's black. First of all, she's not. But I ain't even going to go there with you. For your sake, for your peace and comfort, yeah, she's black. But guess what? She don't give a damn about you. She don't give a damn about you. She didn't petition for nothing regarding the black community since she's been up there. But you know what, Kirk Franklin? Pull up. Because you know we ain't really been doing nothing for three years. Go ahead, pull up and sing. Dance. Twirl. That's what they see y'all as. Dance. Twirl. Sing, nigga. I'm going to say it straight up because it's a hard thing to hear. But you need to hear it. You're out of line when you speak the gospel of Jesus. When you speak the truth. When you say that abortion is murder. When you say that these things are wrong. When you say that homosexuality is wrong. You are out of line. Who are you? To say what's wrong and what's right and who's a true and living God. Go dance. Go dance. Get your leotard. Get on stage. Put on your heels and shake your butt. Get your long weave, boo. Y'all bragging about who got the longest weave. They over here crossing million dollar transactions under your nose on your dollar. Go dance. Go shake. Go dribble the ball. Go ball out. Go play that basketball, boo. Go, go hit a football. Go hit a touchdown and shut up. Hit a touchdown and shut up. That's what you do. 
What do you mean? You out here standing in front of abortion clinic like you somebody. You gotten a little too uppity, nigga. You out of line. Let me tell you something. Had I have really been out here committing crime for real, stealing, and being a, a detriment to this nation for real, for real, a danger on the streets, I would have got a pat on my wrist. Are you kidding me? They would have said, all right, girl, go ahead. You out here acting up. Go live your life. They wouldn't have did nothing. Federally indicted, secret grand jury meeting to put out all the videos of me standing in front preaching the gospel, not with a bat, not with a gun, nothing. Just standing there preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, declaring the truth and saying that abortion is murder. Now you get a federal indictment. You got the FBI watching you. Do you know the FBI been watching me since 19, 2019? I went to Africa and back. I went to Nigeria. They recorded when my baby was born. They documented when my baby was born. They documented when we went to Nigeria for a missions trip. They documented when me and Ricky got married. They documented everything I did because I was a nigga out of line. That's what y'all want. Y'all vote people in and y'all don't understand. You're voting in your image of being a nigga in line. That's what you do when you vote Democrat. That's what you do when you dare decide, oh, I'm going to support Kamala. That's what you are. You're literally a sheep. You're a sheep, and you're not even a good sheep. At least a sheep follows a good shepherd, a shepherd that feeds them and takes care of them. Y'all don't even care. Y'all shepherd got y'all blind, naked, deaf, and dumb, robbing your country, sending your money to Ukraine. They, come on, ain't petitioning for you. You kidding me? People in Ukraine living good right now. I'm seeing a bunch of Ukrainians over here, a bunch of Mexicans all in my neighborhood. It's mad Mexicans in Uruwa. Mad Mexicans. I ain't never seen this many Mexicans in Uruwa. I got Ukraine. You got Ukrainian people all over the place. They two stepping, living good. We live in a nice neighborhood. We got them moving up with us. They moving in our neighborhood, chilling. And, and, and oh, what? Living good, eating good, vegetarian with the brown rice. And now, oh, it's election year, you guys. Mind you, they didn't even want to put Kamala in. They really didn't want her. She was the last result. How does that make you feel, black woman? You're supposed to be so strong. You're supposed to be so intelligent. And I'm not saying that you're not. But doesn't it insult you that somebody is only in a position that they in because they're black and they're a woman and they need the vote? They could give a dang about anything else? That she's intelligent, that she's smart, that she's a great speaker. She's a joke. She make black women look like a joke. She make us look like we goofy. Yeah, you know, what's, what's the line she say? She repeat the same sentence 10 different times because she don't know what she's saying. Probably because she's nervous. But guess what? When she was in there putting them niggas in jail, she wasn't nervous being a prosecutor. She knew exactly what to say. She knew exactly what to do. She ain't that innocent. She ain't that innocent. Sorry. Do a little bit more research. Be a little bit more confident in this season. Don't be a dummy. Don't follow the sheep. Do better. Do better, please. Black I'm people. Any policy that will benefit black people will benefit all of society. Let's be clear about that. Let's really be clear about that. So I'm not going to sit here and say, I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No. How did I do with the debate the other night? Oh, yeah. oh amazing. Kick that old broken down pile of crap. <laughs> yeah. It's a bad guy. He just quit, you know. He's quitting the rest. Is that right? Yep. I got him out of the right. And that means we have Kamala. Uh, I think she's going to be better. She's so bad. <laughs> she's so pathetic. It's so amazing. She's just so fucking bad. So. I just can't imagine. But that. can you imagine that guy with, uh, dealing with Putin and the president of China, who's a fierce person? He's a fierce man. Right. A very tough guy, and they see him. They probably they can't. But it, it, they just announced he's he's probably quitting. Good. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. That's That's amazing. Amazing. Just keep knocking him out. Right? Thank you. The message from President Biden and those around him was, quote, all systems go and campaign full speed ahead. Then at around 1.45 p.m., he notified senior team members that he had changed his mind. Uh, let's get to what might have changed his mind, Brett, but also this statement from Barack and Michelle Obama, which does not endorse Kamala Harris. Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton have come out to endorse her. President Biden endorsed her. But here's what the Obamas say. We will be navigating uncharted waters in the days ahead, but I have extraordinary confidence that the leaders of our party will be able to create a process from which 
an outstanding nominee emerges. Ouch. Yeah. Do you support reparations for black people? So I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No. Which is why I support the United States commitment to provide Israel with $38 billion in military assistance over the next decade. So I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No. I support full funding for Israel, including for the Arrow, David Sling, and the Iron Dome missile defense systems, which save lives. So I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No. And that's why I am fully committing to maintaining Israel's qualitative military edge. So I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No. I stand here clear eyed about the dangers of division in our country and in our world, understanding why a state for the Jewish people is so essential. Do you support reparations for black people? No. All the surrogates say he should. That's because they don't want the political heat of doing it. They want him to have the pain. Now they're talking about Kamala saying they all endorse her, but oh, terrible meetings with the donors and she's doing a terrible job. So they're acting like their hands are clean while they have their hatchet men and women and surrogates take her out. So they will move to put Hillary Clinton in. We started seeing major PR push three days ago once they knew Biden was going to step down that she should be the person, that she has the answers, that she won the popular vote, that she's the one. Now, that doesn't mean they'll get her in there, but I'm telling you, it's not an opinion, it's a fact. Hundreds of articles, starting with The Hill, saying she should be the nominee. And it's not a real nominee, it's totally dictatorial, just like they stole the election in 2020 and then rigged the primaries with no debates or competition. It's just a continuation of the deep state donors putting in who they want. And Hillary has huge power, her people are all inside the government. Now, it may still be Kamala, it might be Gavin, it might be Whitmer, it might, but it might still be Kamala. But Hillary is the one they're going to try to insert. I don't think Big Mike is going to be drafted. I just don't think that he has what it takes. Uh, but we'll see. We're going to find out really soon. But the bottom line is they're going to try to assassinate Trump again. We have to admit it was a deep state assassination attempt. We have Senator Johnson coming out, others saying clearly that. Senator Josh Howley saying there's a cover-up. I've got all these huge experts, Delta Force, Navy SEAL, top of the line, commanders coming on today and tomorrow, household names the military, saying exactly what I'm saying and concur with, on, with my analysis. So join me tonight, 4 p.m. Central to 8 p.m. at Real Alex Jones on X and tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central and the other great shows in InfoWars, 8 a.m. with Harrison Smith, 3 p.m. with uh, Owen Schroyer, The War Room. They wanted us off the air six weeks ago, and I knew it wasn't about us. It was about getting us off the air ahead of the attempted assassination of Trump. But they failed. And the whole Microsoft update, all the experts are agreeing, was an update to go in and manipulate the machines and get ready for the fraud. They're going to try to steal it, but they can't be a landslide. All the evidence shows. Join me now. This is the battle for the republic, the battle for America, and the battle to stop World War III. God bless and good luck. Y'all get in here. President Biden then dropped out of the race. He endorses Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris. Kamala have not done anything but laugh for the last three and a half years. She ain't did nothing but laugh her way through the last three and a half years. I mean, and the dialogue, the talks that she did do or have was so misconstrued couldn't understand them. Most of the time, nobody knew what she was talking about. Y'all come on. Is Kamala, is she the one, is she who America wants to hold nuclear codes to make decisions for war, send our sons and daughters to war? <laughs> I mean, everything for the last three and a half years been funny to Kamala. Who <laughs> y'all, the plot thickens and who gonna run with her? <laughs> the plot thickens. Behold the Sakalota Cox, an idiotic figure who has served as the border czar with remarkable distinction. Now, as this withered old nutsack makes a forced exit from the filthy swamps of our nation's capital, the Sakalota Cox waits in the wings, poised to ascend the political scrotum pole after the current leader, affectionately referred to as the jackass, is retired due to his performance.
However, what the Succolotta Cox and her rich benefactors fail to foresee is the brewing storm of public discontent. Having occupied the position of second in command of the most powerful nation on earth for nearly four years, the Succolotta Cox has squandered her tenure, achieving little beyond amusing the American people with her stunningly low intelligence. Sling plant, I believe. Uh, but he's about to get wet. Oh. Sling plant, I believe. Uh, but he's about to get wet. Oh. When we invest in clean energy and electric vehicles and reduce population, more of our children can breathe clean air and drink clean water. Y'all women, you better not do that bullshit. Don't do it. Do not do it. Yeah, you seen Biden dropped out. Do not endure, do not vote for no Kamala. You have no idea. I'm telling you now you have no idea what you're going to cause. Yes, we're going to stick together. That's an Indian woman. That ain't our people. Get away from that. Do not do it. This woman is more crooked than you think. Don't do it. Do not do it. Y'all feminists, do not do it. You have yourselves to blame. I really don't give a damn because I'm ready to go. This place has to go anyway. But I'm telling y'all, because y'all be complaining about, well, this and that, and the president didn't do it. None of the presidents do anything. Why, why waste your time voting? You vote for that woman, watch what's going to happen. Watch what's going to happen. You have nobody but to blame yourself when it happens. Don't you vote for that damn witch. Don't vote for that. Y'all don't see the agenda? This will be the first female president. And then they try to say, oh, the first black female president. Nah, nah. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. You ain't got to listen to me. You'll see. I'm warning y'all now. Don't you vote for that devil there. Don't do it. You better do your research on that bitch. She's not what you think she is. That is a devil. Don't do it. I just saw something the other day. She got smoked at the podium. And this white woman is like, yeah, I think she said you had fifth, over 15,000 black men locked up in prison. And then when their prison sentence was done, you kept them in. You had them stay in prison longer to get free labor for the state. Nah, man, she ain't what you think she is. Don't vote for her. I'm telling you, do not vote for her. No. One menstrual cramp. Drop the nukes. No. No, 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 no. We did it. We did it, Joe. You're going to be the next president of the United States. <laughs> we did it. We did it, Joe. You're going to be the next president of the United States. <laughs> words about our president. Joe Biden's legacy of accomplishment over the past three years is unmatched in modern history. In one term, he has already, yes, you may clap. <laughs> in one term, he has already surpassed the legacy of most presidents who have served two terms in office. And I first came to know President Biden through his son, Beau. We worked together as attorneys general in our states. And back then, Bo would often tell me stories about his dad. He would talk about the kind of father and the kind of man that Joe Biden is. The qualities that Bo revered in his father are the same qualities that I have seen every day in our president. His honesty, his integrity, his commitment to his faith and his family, his big heart, and his love, deep love of our country. And I am firsthand witness that every day 
Our President Joe Biden fights for the American people, and we are deeply, deeply grateful for his service to our nation. I'm only soft when I like somebody. <laughs> the rest of y'all get this gangster shit, bitch.